Hello and welcome to Side History. I wanted to explore the story behind some unused footage we found of a K-class blimp attempting to land on an aircraft carrier. We recently did a video on the K-class blimps. If you want the full story, click on the link in the corner of our video. When the Goodyear blimp went to war. In this video, you can see the airship K-25 lifting off the deck of a Casablanca-class aircraft carrier. The K-class airships were built to patrol the coast and waterways of the continental United States during World War II. The Navy was interested in extending the capabilities and worked to see if airships could operate from the deck of an aircraft carrier. The footage shows the crews of the carrier and the airship conducting touch-and-go landings. This maneuver involves landing, or attempting to land, and then take off again. In this case, it gives both the crew of the carrier and the airship valuable experience. The K-Class blimp had a range of 2,205 miles. Landing the airship on the deck of an aircraft carrier allowed for refueling, resupply, and even the opportunity to swap out tired crews. Although successful, carrier operations were limited and were not standard operating procedures for the airships in the U.S. Navy. These touch-and-go landings could be especially dangerous. You'll notice in this part of the video, the crew manually holding down the airship to the flight deck. Also notice that there's no protection from the airship's propellers, or the danger of the blimp lifting off the deck with the sailor still holding on to the airship. There was a desperate need for air power in the early years of the war. This was especially true in the Mid-Atlantic Gap, where the Allied convoys had no air cover during the dangerous cross-Atlantic voyage. The Battle of the Atlantic was at its most intense between 1940 and 1943. Convoys were in danger from German U-boats and the threat they posed to supplying the Allied war effort. Historians call the Battle of the Atlantic a tonnage war. The Allied efforts to support Britain relied on a great number of merchant ships crossing the Atlantic. By war's end, 3,500 Allied ships were lost, carrying some 4.5 million gross tons of cargo. Worse yet, 72,200 Allied naval and merchant seamen lost their lives. The K-Class blimp, in many ways, is an unsung hero of the Battle of the Atlantic and World War II. The K-Class blimp was made for hunting submarines, greatest danger to the Allied convoys. It could observe up to 90 miles of the ocean surface with its ASG radar. It was also equipped with state-of-the-art sonar buoys and magnetic anomaly detection equipment. Its slow speed and superior range made them ideal for convoy support, mine spotting, and air-sea rescue. If successful, operating the K-Class airship from the aircraft carrier would be what's called a force multiplier for the U.S. Navy. The airship would be able to rendezvous with an aircraft carrier far out to sea, well away from its coastal naval air station, to aid in the escort of convoys or any reconnaissance efforts. The great thing about this video is it shows the Navy's efforts to extend the range and capability of the K-class airships. And although they're not as famous as their heavier-than-air counterparts, they made a critical contribution to the war effort. It's also a fascinating glimpse into a little-known chapter of military aviation during World War II. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.